I want to get back to Dennis Lehman. We mentioned uh, we're, we're going over the five reasons that you should say no to credit. Now, in the old days, my grandma and grandpa would have said, you don't need that stuff. It's buying on time. But now there are different reasons why you want to stay away from credit. Let's go through them uh, here, starting out with the number one here. What do you think? Uh, the, fir the first one means is that if you're, if you're not sticking to a budget, most of us, our finances are already spread so thin between the day-to-day -day -day, plus trying to pay for our kids' educations, trying to save for retirement, that it's a red flag if you're running up uh, too much credit card debt. Okay, and a poor credit score can affect your, your actually insurance rates. I didn't know this. Yeah, a lot of insurance companies interpret a poor credit score as just a sign of irresponsibility, and their concern is that that will carry over to the roads. Poor financial habits jeopardize your relationships. Going personal now. Absolutely. Unfortunately, poor finances and the stress that it causes is a number two reason in this country for divorce behind only poor communication. No kidding. Okay, and one thing leads to another, right? You can lead to higher spending with this, right? Yeah, higher spending. And this can happen in two ways. Whether it's going into the store to buy that 42-inch new flat screen TV for March Madness coming up this week and walking out with a 46-inch or going in to buy a sweater and coming out with a whole outfit. The credit card companies, unfortunately, make it just so easy for us to overspend. And the last thing they can ultimately lead, lead to is bankruptcy. Yeah, this is certainly a worst case scenario, but run up your credit card scores, lose a job, have your hours cut, go through a recession, and unfortunately, you can end up here. Okay, Dennis Lehman, thank you so much for taking the time with us from NCA Financial Planners here on a Money Monday, all the five reasons you should not get involved with credit. There you go.